Okay, so here we have uh, a standard light dimmer, as you might find on the wall in the house, uh, with a knob on the front, and that will dim the light. Uh, connected, I've got that supplied at the moment from a Variac, so I can adjust the AC voltage, so we can really prove that that's what's happening uh, through the triac. So the triac will adjust the AC voltage, we hope. So we're coming into our mains plug here, through to our light bulb, uh, and I've got to my resistors for measuring current. And this is very dangerous, of course, so I'm using, again, one of my uh, isolated uh, differential probes into the oscilloscope, uh, not touching anything uh, with the power on. Uh, just leave that set up. So don't do this at home. We need one of these, we can turn this on, and uh, that's battery driven. Right, so we should be able to turn up the volts on the triac, on the variac, sorry, to there, and we should be on. Why is it not on? There we go, because I haven't turned up the triac. There we go. So we can see immediately we have adjustable light as we anticipated. We're all familiar with those. How does it work? It's a thyristor type of device that's switching the waveform and delaying when we turn on at this point here. This is the current in the, in the light bulb and nothing, no current is flowing until the triac is turned on and then, the, then it follows the AC waveform until the current comes back to zero, at which point the triac turns off again. Then the triac is again a delay, the triac turned on in the other half of the cycle. Why is this good? Well, because it's an AC waveform in the current still, although we've got adjustable voltage, we can adjust the light bulb, we can adjust by the delay. So if we want it brighter, this delay is smaller and the waveform is more sinusoidal, but it's always an AC waveform. So we're controlling the RMS current and the RMS, with the RMS voltage and that way the RMS current. We can delay it right down and get very romantic uh, evening or something with a very small pulse there. It does jerk around a bit. The circuitry in here is very simple and uh, you know it's not designed to be precision. Uh, it's good enough to do the job. Just to prove that it genuinely is controlling the voltage, we can put it up to uh, full volts there, very bright light bulb, and then I can achieve the same effect of my Variac, but this time of course we're getting it smaller and you can literally see the smaller waveform at that point there and the light bulb getting correspondingly uh, dimmer. Okay. But that of course, having one of these in your wall is not a very attractive thing to do. We can have just a small electronic device like that, fits nicely into your wall uh, and there's very, uh, very many of these around the world. What about conventional uh, compact fluorescent lamps? They don't work in this setup at present. However, uh, some you can buy the ones that do work. They require considerable uh, extra circuitry inside and are a lot more expensive. Why not change this for something more electronic? Well, this is such a neat, compact idea, very efficient, uh, works well, and there's millions installed around the world. So we really need to stay with our conventional triac type uh, light dimmer. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the triac.